Okay, so, uh, as many of you, well, I had some trouble out of the plane right here, and uh, as soon as the neighbor gets done with the lawn, I can kind of talk to this a little bit, but, but we took out a divot here. We've also got this, this old nail hole, so we're, we're going to be just cutting this edge off anyway. Uh, so what I, what I need to do is come in about two inches, go ahead and cut it off, and then start our 36 inch and 36 inch. Hopefully we'll get uh, our two full boards uh, out of this entire piece here with a little bit of trim off at the end. Uh, so with that, uh, let's see what I got for measurement here. Just under, this is this is two and seven eighths. So, or one and seven eighths, excuse me. So, one and seven eighths board. Let's call it two. Um, so, we're going to have a two inch thick shelf. And eventually, what I'm going to do is, is cut off a little, about an inch on the back here. I'm just going to run it through the table saw. We'll get that picture going. And uh, I'll drive some dowels in here and we'll cut. We'll drill three holes for a one inch dowel to come through and we'll glue it into the back post and then we'll mount this back piece onto the wall, slide the front of this on, make sure it's all nice and smooth and you know, walk away happy. Alright, so <laughs> uh, I either lost or loaned out my framing square so I had to go buy another one. Uh, okay, so we've got this divot right here and uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to get the circle saw. We're going to take about four inches off on this side. And then from there, we should be able to get, let's see, so 36. And let me move some tools here. So... Uh, let's see, so 40 and then um, 76. Woo, be cutting it close. Uh, yeah. We may do. I think we'll just take two and a half inches off here. Safety third. Okay. Fly this guy down and we'll get 36 inches and then we'll get another 36 and uh, proceed from there. Mm. Cedar smells good.
Okay, we'll get this next cut done. And I want to kind of hang on to this board here. That way it don't fall and break the little pieces off. It's quite old. It is recycled from the from the back porch. So, the next thing that I want to do is uh, go ahead and run this thing through the table saw. I should, at this point, go ahead and drill my drill three holes in it for the uh, for the pegs. Let's drill on this side because I, that I can fill. That's not a problem. So if we drill, drill, and drill, I've got a one inch uh, wood dowel that, uh, that we should be able to use. So half a 36. That's as far as I want to go, including this drill drill tip here. Eh, see if the drill pushes it. that this thing um, uh, as good as it is it just did not have enough butt to it to uh, uh, to make the hole that I needed so right now this thing is roasting hot so I'm just gonna kind of leave it over here let it chill for a little while and uh, as you can tell I went to my uh, uh, you know, my, my favorite red red store and uh, uh, bought me another drill uh, quite a few quite a few months ago but uh, we'll see if it's got enough uh, juice to uh, to do what we need it to do here we go That 
worked out pretty good so I need to do this uh, two more times uh, and then we can finally get over to the uh, I do need I need to be careful here because one inch. I want to put a bevel uh, on the bottom edge here and if I go through and if I poke through with the hole then it's going to show this it's going to show the hole um, unless that's just a feature whenever I drive in the uh, uh, no it's not going to be a feature so no. <laughs> uh, Alright so um, if I can get get the camera moved and then I'll get get a shot uh, from this angle showing you exactly how deep I'm going with the drill bit and uh, the fun times that I'm getting ready to have. So we've got the the one inch dowel that's going to come in here, and um, when when we rip this board down, then we'll be able to come in and glue in our one inch dowels and piece this and slide this right onto the wall and make it look like one piece. So at least that's the hope. <laughs> so. Uh, okay, so so I bought my uh, this dowel from uh, from the favorite blue store, um, and you can see we're just gonna slide this guy in until it can't slide on anymore. It'll take a little doing. Oh boy, there we go. Uh, so we know this distance. We know that to be roughly six inches. So I'm just gonna make some six-inch dowels. After we rip it, and uh, yeah, so then it'll come in, it'll live flush up against here, and we'll have that much, that much on the back plane to hold the board up, uh, keep it from, keep the front half from falling down. So, but we'll get into cutting these a little bit later. Uh, next, I need to set up the uh, the table saw, and what I want to do is on this side and I can only go roughly an inch in with a chamfer so I want to chamfer the bottom edges And then I'm going to put roughly a one inch in that's going to chamfer that bottom. We'll come back 
uh, with a with a vertical router blade. And I think what I'm going to do is see how this is uh, got a nice little check running through it. I think what I'll do is I'll just rip along that, and uh, that way we can kind of kind of keep it looking nice still. So, all right. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the camera, and I will get back to you as soon as I'm set up with the table saw. Okay. So I'm gonna take off this uh, little nasty back edge here, only a blade length. Uh, so we're just going to run it real quick through the table saw on this side, kind of get the, this side squared up, and then uh, we'll flip it over, we'll run that bevel along all three edges, and uh, then we'll be done. Uh, and then we'll, we'll take our, uh, our cut across the middle here to separate the two halves of the shelf. Then, I think I want this side to be the bottom. Yeah. So then the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take give me a chamfer cut, probably about approximately three quarters of an inch in, and we're going to run it down, put a nice bevel on it. And then we're going to do the same on this edge and the same on that edge. So, this is seven and three quarters, so we need to go, let's do seven. Get my. Think, think it could be a little deeper, a little bit bigger.
uh, okay, so what I did off camera was I went ahead and after we got this this edge all nice and squared up, uh, and, and how I did that, we just kind of prepped in on it, um, making multiple cuts here. But uh, the real thing that makes this a, uh, a floating shelf is that we went ahead and ripped the board down the length. <coughs> And if you'll recall, those three holes uh, that we put in there previously, you see, now we can put our wood dowels in here. And then once the wood dowels are on, we can take our shelf, put it onto the wood dowels, and fix it together. And there you go. This back half here, we've still got a little bit of work to do. We'll probably route out an area in here uh, so we can maybe get uh, find us a stud somewhere and, and uh, we'll see where we're at with that. So we'll go ahead and pause the video and we'll go back and move into the garage again.